Okay, so you want to do the career aptitude test? Yeah. Do you have that? Yes. Oh, nice. Yes, let's do that. Okay, so I don't have the one that I took. In case you missed uh, last week's, you should go back and listen to it because it's it's pretty funny. (laughs) But I had found a career aptitude test that I took in like uh, junior high school or high school. I forget when it was. And they basically like check out all your personality traits to tell you what career you'd be good for. Mm -hmm. I was trying to find that one. But you know what? That one was from like the 90s or the 80s or whatever, whenever I took it. So I I tried to get like a more modern one. So maybe that one wouldn't be good anyway. But um, that one told me that I should never be around other people. And a job where I'm alone in a studio is probably good. (laughs) And and that's exactly what this new one is going to tell you also. Well, no, this is for you. I want to see for you. For me. Okay. Okay. So there's a lot of different uh, of these tests where you can determine by your personality or your answers to the questions, what kind of career you should have. Okay. Uh, So I got to answer questions. Yeah. I chose a lot of them have like too many questions and too many, you got too many things to fill out. I found one that's simple. And according to all the career builder type websites, like Indeed and LinkedIn, this is the one that everybody uses. Okay. Like Forbes is like, this one's good. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. You will attend a meeting at work that will only last 20 minutes. Do you prefer that meeting to be conducted with A, open flexibility, or B, a planned schedule? Planned schedule. Okay. In general, would you say others, A, get to know you with time and trust, or B, get to know you rather easily? Easily. What? Okay. You can't fight me on these. This is what I'm thinking. Okay, Okay, fine. You think people get to know you easily. Mm -hmm. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) A lie. Um, In a meeting, you're more apt to hold your tongue and listen or speak up. Hold my tongue because I just want it over. That's true. Yeah, I've been to many meetings. Yeah, I just want them to be over as quickly as possible. And if I speak up, that's going to make it go longer. Right. All right. In general, which is worse, being too skeptical and critical or B, being too emotional and accepting. Being too emotional. Yeah, right. I know you don't like that. Yeah. In, ge- in, in general, do you consider the notions of a dreamer to be A, inspirational, enlightening, or B, a waste of time and energy unless there's a practical purpose? B, pain in my ass. I'm sure. A dreamer. <laughs> Shut up. Do your job. Go home. Uh, at work, you're part of a planning committee. Are you more inspired by A, facts, or B, visions? Uh, facts. Okay. I think you're pretty creative, though, but all right. Yeah, but I uh, like facts because I like to base those visions on complete facts. Right. Okay. At work, are you more naturally inclined to focus on the A, future possibilities, or B, the here and now? Future. I okay, agree. Please choose the word that describes you most of the time, A, extrovert, or B, private. Private. Yeah. All right. Something happened at work that you are on the committee to better understand the event. Do you want to first, A, watch the video of people involved telling how they felt about what they experienced, or B, investigate the facts and data? I want to see the video. Of course you do. Mm Mm-hmm. All right. Question number 10. When making decisions, are you more content when, A, there's flexibility in changing the decision, or B, you know you've made a final decision? Final decision. Okay. Question 11. Do you welcome work that, A, deals more with potential opportunities, or B, is more firmly grounded in today. Let's go with A. Okay. Uh, are you more impressed by somebody that is A, sympathetic or B, logical? Logical. I don't like okay. sympathy. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Uh, in general, do you have more of a tendency to be A, reflective and introspective or B, straightforward and upfront? <laughs> Which one am I? Straightforward and upfront. Straightforward and upfront. And upfront. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Uh, at a business function with many strangers, would you most likely A, mingle with a few mostly familiar to you, or B, mingle with many, including newcomers? I'm only going to the two people I know, and That's I'm true. not going anywhere <laughs> near anybody else. I don't want to talk. No, I, the, the two people. When I go to a Christmas party, I hang out with my boss. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> okay, uh, please choose the word that describes you most of the time. I know the answer to this one. A, feeling, or B, thinking? Thinking. Of course, yeah. Thinking. I don't uh, feel. No. You- <laughs> right, you Feelings no for feeling. girls. Right. Of course. <laughs> uh, in general, are you more likely to A, seek justice, 
or B, give the benefit of the doubt? <laughs> justice. I want justice served. <laughs> Avenge me, damn it. <laughs> That's gonna, those are going to be your last words. <laughs> Avenge me. <laughs> <laughs> like, even if you die of something like a, a medical thing or like, a you know, something that was, it's not a mystery at all. You would still like grab your sons and be like, Avenge my death. Right. Kill the COVID. <laughs> Kill it. All right. Are you more drawn to work in a career that deals with A, realities or B, possibilities? <laughs> possibilities. Okay. I like that about you. Mm -hmm. um, with unfamiliar colleagues, are you more prone to mind your own business or strike up a conversation? Mind my, my own business. Okay. What if she's hot? Mind my, my own business. <laughs> okay. Oh, even more so. Right. These days, you're right. Good, good, good answer. <laughs> they scare me. Okay, we're almost done. You have free time at work. Are you more satisfied by A, choosing a task that inspires your creativity or B, accomplishing items on your to-do list? A. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, ideally, are you more drawn to a job that is compassionate and empathetic or B, scrutinizing and, exa and examining? A, I don't like examining. Don't, ugh, I hate that. Yeah, that's true. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Uh, in normal working conditions, are you more drawn to what you can see and touch or what you can envision and invent? Envision and invent. It's true. Yeah. Um, everyone is choosing roles for an upcoming meeting. You prefer to A, play a valuable role that does not require being a spokesperson or B, be one of the spokespersons for the group. I'll be a spokesperson. I got no problem with that. I got no problem oh. talking in front of people. Okay. Well, we're going to calculate your results now. Okay, interesting. So the four jobs that you've matched with, uh, number four is a mystery shopper. <sighs> Do you even know what that is? No, and I don't like shopping. So no, I'm not doing that at all. I, I, okay. No. Um, let's see. Uh, number three is a supercar driving instructor. Oh, I like that. But I did not have to talk. <laughs> see, that, ta that, that means you have to talk to people. <laughs> right. That's true. Um, let's see. You also matched with the job of a chocolatier. Somebody who makes chocolate. Yeah, I couldn't do that because it'd be one for you, one for and two for me. One for you, two for me, one for you, two for me. No, that uh, I'd be five hundred pounds. And you're not going to believe this, but the number one thing that you matched with is it's twofold. It's a voice actor slash broadcaster. <laughs> See, that is great because that's what I do, but I don't make any money at it. So I guess I'm a chocolatier. I did two voiceover pieces today, and I guarantee I won't get either of the jobs. So <laughs> I just submit things. Uh, you do things for free. One of them wanted me to be Optimus Prime. I'm Optimus Prime. <laughs> I, I will not get that job. I don't know why. <laughs> you better go buy yourself some hazelnut and start making some flavored chocolate. Uh, I better figure out. I'm going to Google that <laughs> when we're done. Or find out what a supercar is and then go, go teach that. <laughs>